guys, Dr. David Jockers here. And one of the most common questions I get is about water. What's the right type of water? What kind of water system should I get for my house? And what we know is that typical tap water, city water, is extremely toxic. It's loaded with chlorine, fluoride, heavy metals, disinfectant byproducts, definitely stuff we don't wanna do. It's, it's gonna obviously block our ability to cleanse. In fact, it may be the greatest carrier of toxins into the average American's body. So we don't want that. Now, a lot of people will tell me, well, I've got, a, I've got a water filter from my refrigerator. But from my experience and my research, what I found is that the refrigerator-based water filters just don't cut it. They're just not good enough. So how do we filter our water? Well, there's a couple things we can do. We can get a really strong um, water filtration system, like a carbon filtration system. Great company for that is Aquasana. Um, and you can get an Aquasana whole house water filtration system for roughly like about $1,000 or so. Um, and that will really clean a lot of your water up. The gold standard for drinking water is really reverse osmosis. And reverse osmosis takes out all the chlorine, all the fluoride, heavy metals, takes out everything. Now, the only issue with reverse osmosis is it also takes out trace minerals and antioxidants. Um, and so basically, if you can find a system that, that takes out all the water, also adds back trace minerals and antioxidants, it's ideal. Um, I'm a fan of, uh, you know, out here in, uh, in Georgia, we've got something called the Avalon system, which adds back trace minerals and antioxidants, phenomenal system. So if you're in the Southeast, it's the Avalon system. However, again, what you can do is you can get a, a reverse osmosis system for your house, and then you can actually add back trace minerals and antioxidants. You could take a pinch of pink salt, so like a Himalayan sea salt, and then you can add in either fresh squeezed lemon, or you could simply take some sort of uh, essential oil, like this is peppermint essential oil, or citrus blend, or a lemon essential oil, or something like that, Put one to two drops in for eight ounces, and that's enough to really provide a lot of antioxidants into your water. It gives it a nice little flavor or aroma. Um, and that's a great way to really, really get good hydration into your system. Also a good idea to get a shower filter so you're not showering in toxic tap water. So that's what you're gonna wanna do to really clean up your water supply. Reverse osmosis is ideal. Um, getting a shower filter as well so you're not showering in water. If you get the reverse osmosis, again, remember to add back a little pinch of pink salt, like a Himalayan sea salt, just a pinch per eight ounces. If you get a gallon at a time, um, then what you'll wanna do is put in about a half a teaspoon, so not a whole lot. Um, you know, a lot of people will tell me, well, I buy water from the store, but unfortunately the plastic that they're buying the bottled water in is actually leaching out cancer-causing agents, things like phthalates and BPA, and even if it's a BPA-free, uh, plastic bottle, it's still got phthalates, which are xenoestrogenic chemicals that can really be hazardous to our body, increase our risk of uterine, ovarian, breast, prostate, uh, liver cancer, as well as um, colon cancer. So we definitely want to avoid those chemicals. We want to avoid or minimize our, our exposure to plastic as much as possible. You can see here, I've got my water in a glass cup. That's really the ideal way to be drinking our water. So reverse osmosis, adding back trace minerals, antioxidants, drinking out of a glass cup as much as possible. That is one of the most foundational steps that you can take to really cleanse your body, detoxify your system, and live a cancer cleansing lifestyle.